Fidget spinners. Ah, uh, I think one would in one would be in your hand, the viewers, right? Ah, uh, in one hand you would be holding the phone, and in the other you would be having the fidget. Ah, uh, I think most of the people might be addicted. So coming to the point, so in this video we're gonna talk all about ah, uh, why do we use these fidget spinners, and what are the cause for the creation of them, and apart from it, and ah, uh, ah, uh, what actually makes them to spin better? Is the question. So, this is so. Most probably, these ah uh, these fidget spinners are something ah uh, like ah uh, just they are, these are just similar to that of smiley balls ah uh, to relieve stress. Mostly used by the people who are suffering from ADHD and also alopecia. So these are the people who who cannot concentrate on the work. So they'll be having something on on their hand like just like the pen in their hand moving that continuously. and uh playing with uh, just clicking the cap or uh, pressing the smiley ball and in order in order to avoid it uh, we are uh, they have created this fidget spinners so in this video we are going to talk all about how do these fidget spinners work and also um uh, what actually makes uh, have you ever uh, have you ever thought that if you just spin the middle part of it It just it just spins for a couple of seconds, about about uh, five to six seconds. And if you just uh, spin at the end, it really spins for a lot of time, right? So number one, uh, coming to. So how does it work? Is the question. Uh, when I just remove it up, remove the layer of it. here you could actually find here you could actually find number of bearings right these are the bearings which helps to support uh these bearings uh looks really cool i mean uh they are smooth and shiny this helps them to decrease the uh, decrease the pressure inversely uh let me give you an example uh, such that you could explain uh, you could understand this concept right uh just imagine just imagine a car a car is just placed at a particular point uh just imagine that the gear is neutral and three three teenagers or three people are enough to move it but if the car is in parking with the handbrake then it wouldn't move right so this is the reason why uh this is just similar to that of this thing uh there is something to stop something like friction in uh, during parking and in this in order to avoid that friction and to create angular momentum there is something uh the bearings actually the bearings do pretty interesting stuff so there are different types of things like uh here uh this cost about 5 to 600 rupees and uh i have another which which just cost about uh, 300 rupees so if we just take a close look of it we could actually find all the uh, there is a lot of oil and also uh we could actually find this uh, there there are no balls actually right this actually this is a drawback so this draw uh, how is it drawback because there are two uh, there are two things just sliding on one another uh just imagine two books or two things just like uh, here i have a book and here i have another so when i just place them in contact there would be something uh, st- uh stopping them called the friction due to microscopic helical structures and apart from it this is the this is the part one and coming to number 2 uh the part two is actually why the fidget spinners are in this structure why are they why are mostly in triangles uh naturally triangle is been considered as the strongest shape in this universe and apart from it why are they blobs at the end because this is to increase the angular momentum when someone need to jump from one point to another let's think that uh, he is a and he is b and he has a value and the person want to jump from a to b so how would he jump uh, he would, he would not jump at one particular stride right he have to move from a longer area with a with a greater velocity and just uh, give him a push 
so that's that you could actually jump to b right this is the same thing what actually happens when i just play, uh, i'm taking the support with my middle and my index fingers and when i just place my finger at the end and i just give it a push the angular momentum along with uh, the loss of inertia uh, along with the decrease in uh, the friction actually would help to um, rotate it for a longer period of time and after some time gradually it would just slow down because of gravity and friction because of the earth's atmosphere but if you just rotate for once in space it would be rotating forever it is absolutely until any external force acts on it something like a meteor crashing and it's a part and most of the fidget spinner users might have observed one particular thing when you just uh, rotate one rotate the spinner it just uh, balances on this thing right balances on one finger have you ever understood this i mean have you ever ever remark uh, observed this this is actually uh, called as the gyroscopic effect the gyroscopic acceleration gyroscope is nothing but a six axis round wheel rounded wheel which uh, which actually does something like an auto rotation on your mobiles or your tablets or something this auto rotation really plays a very important role uh there is some axis like this and when i just rotate my mobile it will be something attached to a gimbal and this will be rotating out right got my point so uh if you have any doubts just comment in the description below so please do subscribe to our channel and this is chanan signing off subscribe to turn your entropy to infinity